Good morning, Privateer FX fans. Coming at you on a Wednesday here, 23rd of May. We got paid today, Euro Yen. Um, pretty straightforward. Dollar Turkey driving the bus. Traded up to $490 Dollar Turkey. Pretty insane. Um, but your yen came off nicely for us. Through 70 paid, through 50 paid, uh, even through the figure paid, uh, which we did not uh, sell through the figure. But um, we squared this stuff up uh, 128.80. So now we're square again. A fresh look at things. Um, what's next here? Uh, a couple things on our mind. Euro dollar printed an interesting print there. 116.99 or 98. There was a bid for about 400 on the figure, and he pulled it and then went to market with it and kind of caught guys. Kind of caught guys out. But if you look on the dailies here, this is very important. All of these lows here. One seventeen seventeen, one seventeen thirty, one seventeen twelve, and the other day one seventeen sixteen. Below this, uh, close below sort of this one seventeen ten handle here is going to give us the next leg down. Could easily happen, right? I mean, uh, these European banks own a lot of Turkish uh, fixed income, Turkish derivatives. Turkey's proximity to Europe is going to probably cause some contagion, or at least worries of contagion. Uh, Italy's not helping, of course. So the story is basically there, uh, and the the market seems to be trading that story. So. Short, your core short euro seems to be uh, a sensible maneuver at this point. One of the conundrums today is dollars are. It did what it was supposed to do at the open there, traded up to um, 70, 70, 50. But now it's come off uh, and it's trading sort of just flat on the day. You would expect dollar EMS uh, to get smashed. When dollar turkey's up a thousand, fifteen hundred points, but dollar czar is not cooperating. Uh, I would venture a guess that uh, in the middle of next week, when we're trading at thirteen fifty, we will look back at this moment and go, "Huh, uh, we should have should have been more aggressive." I don't know where the structure of this is. I guess you you could structure it try and buy as close to 1250 as possible and, and with the idea that we're not going to make a new daily low today. Uh, we don't have a, a, a horse in this race or a dog in this fight, but it does strike me as uh, perplexing, this dollar czar. For the rest of the charts, it's all pretty well stretched out now, so we're going to have to wait. As you can imagine, Aussie Yen crushed, Sterling Yen crushed, CPI was weaker, cable on its knees. Um, so our focus is mainly Euro, core short Euro. Uh, we'll be selling high ones now for the rest of the week in Euro Yen. Now at 128.55, we will not be selling low ones for the rest of the day down 1.6 percent no reason it can't go down another hundred points um, this looks like the first inning of what's going to be sort of a, a six-month dogfight between Turkey and Germany and German banks we're using Deutsche Bank as sort of our uh, canary in the coal mine obviously smashed today a couple percent 1080 Deutsche. Below 10 bucks will sort of signal distress. Uh, who wants to look under the hood at Deutsche Bank on their balance sheet? <laughs> that would be fun. Anyway, uh, core short euro 
good luck out there, people. Uh, we've had a nice morning, so um, hopefully we'll have a nice afternoon as well. Talk to you guys tomorrow at the European Open. Ciao.